one of my favorite gaming consoles from childhood. Lots of fun and nostalgic memories. But today I have a Steam Deck and to be honest, the huge difference in the display really matters. Games you might not enjoy so much on the PSP anymore can still be great on Steam Deck using an emulator. Thanks to this, you can play games that were only released on the PSP. Like Killzone Liberation, The Third Rebirth Day, Dungeon and Dragons Tactics and Metal Gear Acid or Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Yes, some games later got ports to the other consoles, but many they don't. The advantage is that for emulating PSP games you don't need any BIOS files, so emulation is very easy. For some hardcore fans of certain game series, PSP emulation can be worth it. In today's video, we'll show the full process of installing an emulator. And at the end, we'll share some tips and review a few games I really enjoyed playing on the Steam Deck. The first thing you'll need is to download Emudeck. For those who don't know, Emudeck is software that helps you install, organize and manage your emulators on a Steam Deck. It also handles some important extra files, like BIOS for games needed to run certain emulators. And it helps you run and manage your emulated games better in gaming mode. You can easily download it from the website. On your Steam Deck, go to desktop mode, type emudeck in the browser and open the official emudeck website. In the download section, at the very bottom, you'll find different versions, including one of made for SteamOS. Then just download and install the program. It's very easy. The only important thing to decide before installing is whether you want your emulated games on internal storage or an SD card. Choose the path learning installation based on that. After installation, when you run the program, it will ask again where you want your ROM games, internal storage or SD card. It looks something like this, nothing complicated, we'll cover the rest of the setting later. Now we'll install the emulator itself. In desktop mode, open discover and type PPSSPP and click install, it's possible that emulator is already pre-installed together with emude. We copy our PSP games to the Steam Deck. I won't give you a link, but it's very easy to find them. Often under the label a redump, which basically means a zip file containing a ISO format. In general, the USA version are the most suitable for emulation. I recommended managing your files on a PC first and then transferring them to the Steam Deck using an external hard drive. I don't recommend the USB stick, because it can often damage files. A good hard drive is safer. And you will also need a two OTG adapter, which costs just few euros. Now we copy the games to the folder created by Emudeck. The path to this folder depends on whether your Emudeck ROMs are on internal storage or SD card. Here are both paths. You can see that in emulation folder there are many folders with names of different consoles and emulators. This is the environment created by Emudeck, which lets you perfectly organize and sort your emulated games. And because we are emulating PSP games, we find the folder named PSP and put our games into it. Now we start our emulator. If you don't have an icon on the desktop, just type the emulator name in the bottom left corner, right click and choose create desktop icon. Now we can see the first interface of our emulator. We need to find our games manually, so let's switch to games. Here you have to click how to the folder. It's a bit confusing, so be patient. This is the path to ISO games on the SD card. If you have them on internal storage, the path will look something like this, but it may be different. That's why I say be patient when searching. After we find our games and see them in the list, We'll click on the settings, then go to system and check memory stick insert. Let's go to controls, choose control mapping, click auto configure. And this step should emulate the Steam Deck controller. The problem is that like me, you may find the global settings don't work a specific game. In that case, you'll have to set it up separately for each game. To this, hold your finger on the game. Then you'll see the option Create Game Configuration and Select Game Settings. Here we do same steps as before. 
choose auto configure again and select the Steam Deck controller. Unfortunately, sometimes the L and R triggers may not work for some reason. So, I recommend to remapping them. It's simple. Click on the left trigger, press it and the emulator will remember it. Personally, I had to do this for the games I test, because they didn't work automatically for me. Next, we need to run the game in desktop mode. Just start it and then close it again. Otherwise, the game might not appear in the list in gaming mode. And finally, we add the emulator to the library in gaming mode. Tau the emudec. Start emudec and go to Steam ROM Manager. Here you can see different emulators. I recommend checking only the ones you actually use for better order and clarity. Since we are dealing with PSP, I have it enabled on the bottom. Then click to add games. Then click parse. And now you should see your PSP games. You can change your cover if you want. And then click save to Steam. Now when we go back gaming mode and open the library in non-Steam section, you should see your games. Sometimes they appear, sometimes not, like for me right now. It's ok, just open the emulator and then you can start your game and play. If the game isn't in the list, it means you didn't run it in desktop mode. And that's it. Here are some screenshots from the games I tested. You might need to ram up some control settings because auto detection isn't always reliable. To be honest, this isn't the best emulator. It's more for an autistic nostalgic experience with PSP games. Or if you want to try an exclusive title like I'm doing in the screenshots playing Metal Gear Acid, many PSP exclusives like Silent Hill Origins later come to PS2, we just a much better emulator. And if you're curious about how to emulate PS1, PS2 or PS3 games on your Steam Deck, I have full guides for these consoles on my channel. If you liked the video and found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. I cover technical tutorials released on the Steam Deck and explore various interesting gaming topics. Write me a fun comment about which PSP games you like playing the most. I still have this console today, click like and check out some of my other videos too.